Hello and welcome to Cities Skylines. Yes, not Minecraft. I know I've been doing a lot of Minecraft recently and I kind of needed a break from Minecraft for a little bit. I have still been doing stuff, but I kind of needed a break from it. So I thought why not play some Cities Skylines. I really, uh, I really like this game and I've been wanting to record it for quite a while. So here we are recording it. Basically City Skylines is a Cities building simulation game and you will see more details once we actually get into it so let's get new game going also do we have a dlc called green cities dlc installed basically it adds greener ways to keep pollution down and your city is clean basically and doing less pollution and stuff like that so yeah that is that's good all right let's choose new game let's get started right away um so here we need to select the map that we want to play on. I have already decided it has to be Green Rivers. I like this one. Um, and it is from the uh, Green City DLC. You can see the little green DLC logo right there. So we're gonna, just gonna select that and click start. And you are going to see what this game is about once we actually get into it. So let this uh, bird fly around in a circle until it think it's done and has generated the world for us. So yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah, boy. All right, we are now in the game here. It just dropped me straight in. Even started the uh, the the time here, which I passed by pressing space. So we're not wasting any time. I don't think we will lose money from it, but just in case. Um, okay, I do believe we can change the city name at a later time. Anyways, let's get started. We have 17,000 whatever that money is. I think it's just a game, but if you know what it is, it's not euros, is it? I doubt it. No, it's not euros. It can't be euros. No, that's definitely, no, it's definitely not that. Neither is it pounds. So yeah. Anyways, let us get started here. So this is City Skylines, as you can see. The graphics are actually pretty good. I listen to the birds chirping away. Here we have the highway. It connects up here and we are supposed to build a city in this area. We also got some mountain area. Um, and we got the population down here, we got the money, and we got some more stuff down here, which you will understand in a bit. We gotta get started with some roads, and to begin with, I have to place a little bit of road there for it to unlock some more roads for us. And I'm actually going to start off with one of these pre-built roundabouts here to connect to the highway. Also, if you got any questions about the game, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so what I'm doing here is, as you can see, these arrows indicate that there's only traffic going th this way on this side. There's no cars coming down it, um, even though it is three lanes. That is basically what the arrows mean. One-way road. So I have selected that here because I want it to be that way. And just connect it like that and click here and connect it like that. And I'm actually going to choose this and upgrade this piece of road right there. Hopefully that should be more efficient. Um, I'm actually going to upgrade all of these to that road because I want it to be that way. Now you do have to be very careful with your money because if you lose it or use it all and don't get to do um, some basic things at the start of the game, well then yeah, things get bad. So yeah, be careful on how you use your money in this game. Um, Alright, let us get started here. So, basically, let's take a look at our zones here, because you see these cubes here? We use those to indicate the zone in that specific area for what kind of building we can build there. So take, let's take a look at some of the zones that we can designate to these areas. We got low density residential zone, we have this available right now, basically small housing and such. Um, then we got high density residential zone, that is locked until we reach population of 7500. Um, we got low density commercial zone, which we will need because people need stores to buy stuff and right and also work at. Um, we got high density commercial zone again. We need population of seven thousand five hundred. Industrial zone, um, basically it provides jobs and success down there for citizens and reduces goods for local businesses. So we need that too. We have that unlocked. All these, this one, this one, this one is closed for right now. Our zone is good as well, but that is also later once we reach a population of 7,500. Right now, our first goal is Little Hamlet, and that is a population of 480. 
Once we reach that, we will unlock taxes, loans, we will unlock the services of garbage, healthcare and education, and we will get these two buildings, which is basically recycling centers of school and medicleric uh, clinics. So, uh, yeah. Let us get to it. And we don't we don't just get to put the rows and then sit back and relax. We need to designate the zones, but we also need to make sure they have electricity and water and a bunch of other stuff. So let's get to it. It's not that simple, kiddos. Let's get right to it, shall we? Yes, let's yell. Let's let's yell I I, I know English. <laughs> Alright, let's let's get to it. I'm going to put um, oh, look at this mountain. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect for windmills. Um, I'm going to put our town area down at this area. So have like the town area, the living area this way and have industrial stuff a little bit over here. Because I do believe we could get some forest stuff going in this area. And maybe some mining in the mountain, I think. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get to that. But let us first get some roads going. I think I'm going to go here and then I'm gonna make it go down a bit to here or here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to be a little bit careful about the money as I said because if you use it all and don't get some basics done, uh, some basic like power and water and stuff, people will get angry. You will not get any money at the beginning and if you can't hold out and people don't get in and people start moving out then you're pretty much stuck <laughs> um so yeah we we gotta be a little bit careful here so i place these roads here where there's a lane here two lanes on the right side and two lanes on the left side also the traffic is set to drive on the right because that is what i'm used to okay um cool Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what to do here. Um, hmm. I wanted to make it look interesting and not just a bunch of squares. And we want to basically fill this entire thing in so that we have as much of this room as possible, like the squared room as possible. So how about we just go down like this. Casmega. And then maybe hook it up there. We could hook it up here and just let the road end out of nowhere, because why not? Um, we could also, I guess, make this go down a bit and maybe this go over some. And maybe make some small roads eh, go down like that. That could look cool. Oh, that, 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 you know what? I love this. I love the look of that. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, okay, let us get... Okay, so basically, if we go into zoning, we can actually basically this whole area to a uh, living space and this over here too. Now, we do also need some... No density commercial zones because people need to get shop. People need to be able to shop, man. So we need to um, we need to do that and make sure they can. So I'm actually going to connect this here. Actually, I'm actually going to connect it right here instead. Uh, maybe one over like so. Actually, let's move up here and move down like this I think even and connect it there because actually that's not what I wanted to do good thing is we get a little refund from the road when we uh, get rid of it so that's good um, I basically want to run this down here and the thing with these are they are a little, a little bit noisy so that is why I want a little bit of gap here before I actually place it in here and I think that is actually not big enough of a gap so, and I just press B to quickly select the bulldozer there, so that is handy, I think. Yeah, I think we need to go like here. Hopefully that should be enough. Like so, and then increase this to here, and go down here, and connect this up. Eh. If I could press the right buttons, that would also help. A huge amount. Okay. 
let's put that there and let us yet you know what let's put it up because why not um we could even connect it there and maybe here and let's not use unnecessary amount of money let's get commercial area over here we can put parks and stuff here maybe or like hospitals and stuff we need that too and kind of in a central area so this might be good i don't know but um yeah i think that's a good start right there i think that's a good start we also need a quick um industrial area and i will try not to use too much money doing this so let us go in that direction maybe a bit of stuff in this direction let us i also i'm sorry for the creepy music i jabbed yeah, 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 not in control of that so how about we go up like this go here we go maybe out like this and up maybe we go down too because why not let's con no okay con not not connecting okay that's that's perfectly fine how about we then go in from right here do that maybe go a little bit of in that direction yeah there we go nice you know what that that works as industrial for now interesting shapes let's go yep that 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 works actually uh i hate that i hate i hate yeah there we go so I just selected the disorder and just went into um, the marker and mark you marker. I believe it is marker and just, yeah, did that. Okay, that is the basics. Now we need some water stuff. And we could go with a wonder water pumping station and a water outlet in the, our case, the eco water outlet from the deal, green deals, green cities DLC to reduce the pollution stuff that comes out of it. But I do believe that we will go with a water tower just because we the we need the money to set up some electricity stuff and also we need the water pipes. Now what about this? If we were to have just a quick note for those of you who are new to the game and might want to watch this as a tutorial thing, um, if you do choose to use the water pumping station and the water outlet, um, basically if you look at the water here. You can see the arrows telling us that the flow goes that way. So basically, what you don't want to do is put the pump here, up the up the river, and put the outlet down the river. Because if I put the outlet here, the water stream is going to get the nasty water up to our pump and will pump that up. So that is not good. You want to put the pump over here, down the river where the flow is coming up, and then output it up where the flow directs it away from our pump but in our case I think we just want a water tower and I kind of want to place that kind of in the center middle thing yep that works um, and then connect that up with the water pipes here and you see that blue coverage area that basically shows us um, the area the blue area is basically the, what the, the that blue area basically shows us the area that has water so yeah so right now all this area is supplied with water. If this in here is it's not. They 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 don't have water. They go thirsty. Um so let us not uh do that. It's not about thirst only. We also need for like the kitchen and bathrooms like each. Okay, let us get this up here cuz the industrial zone also needs water of course. So let us just uh boop and da ba da boop. There we go. Oh, but dip it. Maybe. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, now we have 22,000 left. That is the water stuff. Now we need some power stuff. And the water tower thing, it needs some power too. So, Okay, so I'm going to use windmill. We could get a coal power plant, which will produce 40 million watts. Um, I assume what that is what MW stands for. But it pollutes a whole ton. I don't want to use that. Because we have the possibility of using wind turbines. And I want to use wind turbines. They don't produce just as much and they're more expensive in the long run. Because this only can max produce 8, eight million watts. I'm just going to say million watts until or megawatts. Million watts sounds better. <laughs> that 
Is that correct? I I don't know. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> Someone let me know down in the comments if you know. If not, well then it's fine. Um, yeah. Basically, this can only give us 8. The coal power, power, power plant can give us 40. And it costs 19,000. Um, and the wind turbine costs us 6,000. And it only gives us 8. So to get 40, that would be 5. So 6 times 5 is 6, 12, 24. So 30, 30,000 for what we would, for the equivalent of the coal power plant. So yeah, that is, yeah, that's expensive. But we're sparing the planet. So that is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two of these rather close to each other. Hopefully, yep, that's what I want right there. The blue area basically shows where there is, um, power in that area so basically I just need to take these power lines in a blue air area and move it down and then into this blue area here that will supply this guy with power and I also need power for the industrial section hopefully this will hopefully they will start building here and the blue area for the industrial area will begin over here and I don't know about the housing, so I'll wait with that. Okay, I think, yeah, we're um, we're ready. We're we're ready. Set the time, and I'm actually going to speed it up a bit, and soon we should see houses starting to pop up. Oh, there we go! Yay! Houses, people, <laughs> and we got a little thing here, like I don't know. I guess a copy of Twitter. Congratulations! The city's first power plant has been constructed. Yes. Okay, so we need to immediately. Oh, that is right. That is okay, 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 okay. Um, that is correct. You do need a sewage system, even though you use the um, the water tower. Okay, so we want the eco water outlet. It is more expensive than the just the normal water drain pipes, but uh, we definitely want the eco ones. Okay, that shouldn't be too expensive to hook up. No. Okay. Good. 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 And power wise, we need to be able to just get it down there. Okay. That should solve all their issues right away. Phew. Okay. So see, we're actually going down in money, but it's good. We're getting plenty of people, as you can see. We're getting like almost 200 uh, people weekly, which is good because we want to get Little Hamlet. I don't know if I already said that, business, but we will unlock taxes, loans, and education, and all that stuff down there. And a couple of buildings. We need the hospital and health care and school set up and such. Okay, the... Oh, I don't have power to get to the industrial area. Can I get refund from this? Nope. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so the industrial area will not be going too good. Um... Oh, dear. No demand for industry or offices. Now we're actually not getting that many people all of a sudden, but that will hopefully rise as the word of our town spreads. Houses of people, how hard is it to build a working power grid? It's not exactly the state of the art technology. True, very true. But uh, your boy here is in debt. <laughs> or at least in minus, not as much in debt. We are still getting people though, people though and the people are happy. They have power, at least, and water, and a working sewer. We just need to get to 480 to get Little Hamlet, and then we'll get a bunch of money. Why? Oh, that needs... so oh dear, that needs power, too. I forgot that. <laughs> uh, we should be able to reach 480 before people get too mad. The thing that can happen is if people get too angry they'll move out and if they move out you won't get any money so like yeah oh wait we're almost there we're almost there boys we're almost there get to 480 there are huge sewage issues but we should be able to get to 480 very soon and we got little Hamlet, yay! And we have money's passed before any any anyone else gets angry. Okay, we can't place it right there. We need to put it right on the outskirts right there, and boom, that'll connect that to the power grid. And I'm sorry, guys, but uh, yeah. Okay, 
and put it right there. Sweet. And do they? Yes, they have water too. Okay, that should solve everyone's problems. Let's make sure that we have enough electricity. Consumption, 7. Production, 11. That's good. Water is good and everything else seems fine. Nice. Okay, we avoided a catastrophe. <laughs> okay, so now we have Little Hamlet. We got some money here and let us actually take a look at our taxes because we can actually raise those just a little bit to like 11 or 12. I'm gonna raise it to 10 and we can raise it um, eventually. 10%. So we'll get some more money as well. Now we need to start working on some garbage area. Because people will want places or need places to dump their junk. If not, then it starts going bad, right? Uh, so we need to take care of this. Now there are two ways we can get the landfill site. Which basically just takes garbage and dumps it. That's bad. Or we can get a recycling center, which is a lot better. Though it is a little bit more expensive, but totally worth it. Now we're getting money as well. So that is good. We will almost have enough for a recycling center, which we will put somewhere over here, I think. You can see, though, that it is polluting just a little bit. You can see that the, on the purple area. Um, and the orange area, by the way, is the noise area. So if we put it over here, people will complain a lot. Um, what I do think we should do, though, is put it like here or here. I think over here is better. Let's put, see, do we cover? Yeah, we cover a big area if we put it here. That's already um, working area, so that's good. That is good right there. We also need a hospital. That is 10,000 and we need a school. We can choose two. Elementary school, or we can choose the community school, a small and safe community school, and our students will get education and grow into educated adults. Alternative to an elementary school. It can, but I believe this one comes with the green DLC as well, so I, I want to use stuff from that DLC, so I think we'll use that. Okay, so right now we can, this is basically the demand for the different zones, so uh, medium demand for residential zone. No demand for commercial and no demand for industry or offices. So we are actually doing pretty good. Now, if there is, of course, a demand for a living area, we need to take care of that. But if we go into here, we can see the power is starting to go a little bit. Eh? We need to, we basically need to be making more power than we're using. The water is perfectly fine. Garbage press. Pressing stages is going good. Education and uh, okay. Uneducated 100%. Oh dear. Um, happiness. Residential happiness is going down. Oh dear. How come? Let's take a look at the noise area. So we can see there's a lot of noise going on here and here. Now what we can do to reduce this, I believe, is to remove the light signals here. Or the traffic lights, sorry. <laughs> so if we delete that and delete that. We don't need those, I don't think. So just remove those and traffic should be flowing a lot smoother. Yes. That is good. Okay, so demand for residential area is growing. So we need to... Uh, we need to grow outwards here. So let us get a road down. Like here, maybe? Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then get like something like this going up and connected here, maybe. And then something like this, maybe going up as well, connected to this. Not enough money. You know what? I'm tired of this. Let's get a loan. Take a loan of 20,000. There we go. So we can do some stuff. Because people want to, they have heard about our beautiful town and they want to come and live here. So we need to be able to supply them with a place to live, right? 
Okay. And maybe do something like this and would this cover? Yes, it would. Yes. <laughs> Could we do that? Yeah. Nice. I like that better. <laughs> okay, let us put this as um, living areas. Put that, though I do not want this to be. Hold on, pause. Don't want anyone moving in over here. Like that. Don't want this bit either, just in case we want to do something there. Okay. We might need to expand this as well eventually. Let us get a um, medical clinic. That is important, of course. Now we can see the green where it kind of fades out over here at the roundabout. If you take a look and I move it down, we want it to be as green as possible over the entire city. So I think putting it here, I don't think, as you can see, um, these are all brown because it is kind of like they need to be able to get health care. Ooh, we got Worthy Village. Okay, we can get a secondary loan. We can actually get a new area. We have unlocked districts and policies. Uh, fire department, police department, and unique buildings. And agricultural specialization, forest specialization. Um, let's see. Require natural resource, forest, renewable. I wonder... Oh, self-sufficient buildings. That is a... Okay. Pause the game. Ooh, this is exciting. Um, okay, I'm actually really excited. Okay, let us put the hospital down. Like, here. But what I was saying was the brown buildings are the ones that actually need the stuff, and the white ones are just... They're like, that. Uh, we don't care. Um, <laughs> so let us put that actually right here, I think. is eh, We could actually put it lower, because we will build more in this direction. So... I think putting it up here to the main road like that was actually not a bad idea. Maybe here. Yeah, let's put it right there. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to call this an episode right here. Um, let's just quickly, before you guys go, go crazy and I go crazy or forget, uh, let's give these guys some water. Some water. Like that. Okay. We're gonna cut it here. I hope you enjoyed. We will continue in the next episode. We need to be able. To, we need to give them a fire department. We need to get some police stuff going and the education and the districts, because um, the the uh, self-sufficient buildings is really really cool. Like they consumes less electricity, makes less garbage, and generates less. Oh, generates less tax income. But you know what? It's fine. Um, because I only will need less money on power stuff. And power is actually going critical right now. So that is actually perfect. We can put like forestry, slightly increased electricity, require natural resource forest. So that means once we get more industry up here, we can specialize it in forest and art um, agriculture. And I'm probably butchering that word. And if we go into natural resources, you can see forest. Um, Fertile land for farming, I'm pretty sure. We don't have any of that right now. Um, or we have some ore here. We got some oil in the mountain over here. And we got a huge uh, forest potential over here. And a huge farming here. Um, so that is really nice. If we go into uh, policies. Ugh. Okay, I don't know what those do. But uh, I'll need to research those for next episode. And there is areas. There we go. So we can actually get a new area. I don't know if it will cost anything or if it will just unlock. We'll need to figure that out. Um, if you do, let me know down in the comments below. But I will research that and I will also research the policies. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And enable those notifications. Down in the description you will find a link to my Twitter and my Discord server. You should go and follow me and also join it. Join my server and uh, yeah. You should also go and follow me on Twitch. Go ahead and follow me on there because I do stream there as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.